And she wasn't feeling that time. I sat in a science class and, and I said, I'm fasting. And then as I was fasting, I left the class and I walked to the room. Amen. Seemed like God would tell me to go to the room that day. And I didn't go to the room any other day. But that day I went to the room. And when I went to the room, I didn't know that God was going to fill me with the Holy Ghost. Amen. But I was obeying God. I went to the room and shut the door. Sometimes you got to shut the door. Y'all hear what I'm saying? You got to shut the door. And I shut the door. And when I shut the door, I closed out everybody. Nobody heard me. Nobody saw me. Didn't have any witnesses. Didn't need a witness. Too much Marion Collins in me. I didn't need a witness. I just called Jesus. And when I called him, all I said was three times. Glory. I remember that day. Just like I remember it that I'm talking to you. And I was a young man then. And the, the, the third Jesus. The third Jesus. It reminds me in three days. Some of you men say three days. Three days.
depart from the faith. Giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of the devils. Speaking lies and hypocrisy. Having their conscience seared with a hot iron. You got a lot of seducing spirits. You got and you know what a seducing spirit is? A seducing spirit will call the people to wonder. And a seducing spirit will cause you to go astray. And if you don't watch out, it will deceive the very elect. But the elect, you better know when you hear God's word. Are you all hearing me? I said you have to know when the Lord Jesus, who is the Lord of glory, when he speaks out of glory, you got to know it's God who is speaking.
preach. Yeah. First of all, God, why are you going to call me to preach? Because you. you got a whole bunch of better people than me. Thank you, Lord. I got a messed up life. Bad history. Yeah. Bad thoughts. Yes, yeah. I'm nothing in your sight. Well, my, my, my. What is it that you see in me? Oh, my, my, my. And why is it that you would put the word in me? And put anointing with it. Come on now. And God would speak to me. And say, you can't see what I see. My God. My, 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 my. I don't see as men see. My God. But I'm eternal God. And I see what others don't see. Yeah. And it is up to you. The Lord inspired me. He said, as long as you speak my word, I will protect you. I'll straighten you up, but I will protect you. And he told me that I will anoint the word with power and authority. That's what God said. He said, but you are charged to preach the word. sit in the back and do nothing because I know enough to say say but then the Lord reminded me he said you must have forgotten he said over 20 years ago you did just that you walked into a church and you sat in the back and you just listened to him preach and you knew the word yourself and as you listened to him preach you liked that place so you tried to be quiet, didn't you? I said, yes, Lord. He said, but do you remember what happened? He said, while you were sitting in the back, he said, I moved on you. It's a terrible thing when God moves on you. I sat in the back of the strong tower. It's called Strong Tower. The church of our Lord Jesus Christ. Of the apostolic faith, they called it. It was under W.L. Barney. And it was in Germany. And I said, I'm going to sit in the back. And I sat in the back. And then the Lord moved on me. I never will forget it. And I stood up and I said, I'm going to give a testimony. And when I gave a testimony, they said in the audience, said, there is somebody that has come into this place. And I said, oh, God, who has the Holy Ghost as well as we. Over here are soldiers in Germany. He said, somebody has come in this place who has the Holy Ghost just like we have. And who is baptized just like we have. The preachers pulled me and said, tell me what the saith the Lord. And I said, God, I can't get away from you.
protect you. you. Your love can't be in a man. You got to have your love in the man, Christ Jesus. You know what I'm saying? And if you get God, God will give you a man. It's a good word. Amen. I said this is a good word. Amen. It's a right word. 